Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. <laughs> oh, I hope this is focusing okay. I run things here at Okrogal. And welcome, friends, to a vlog, I think. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to turn this light on because I don't think it's helping that I only have the natural light. Oh, that's that's better. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this right off the bat. Y'all have to just bear with me today because I have not filmed this style of video. Um, I'm including like my what I eat in a days in months. I have n have not filmed a um, vlog style video that was not a what I eat in a day. Uh, I think in years. Um, it's been a long time. I, I'm just, I'm not a vlogger. I don't, I don't typically film these types of videos, but I do every once in a while want to try to film something um, like this kind of in this realm, just because I feel like it's when I can catch up with you guys and update you guys about things and um, kind of keep you in the loop as to what's going on. And I can't really do that in like a stitch fix video or a grocery haul or anything like that. So Welcome to my attempt at a vlog. So it's Thursday when I'm filming this. It is 6.59 in the morning. I'm hoping that you'll be seeing this on Friday. Um, I was very proud of myself because I got up at six o'clock this morning. I've been trying to be more consistent with getting up early. It just makes for a better morning if I'm up early and I get ready before I have to, you know, feed the child and make her lunch and get her dressed and all that jazz. Um, I'm also just in a better mood when when that's how my morning unfolds so Daisy is in school now I don't think I have filmed I know I've told you guys but I haven't filmed like a vlog style video since she's been in school so um, our mornings are not chaotic but by any means but um it's just different than than they used to be right so she goes to school from nine to one and uh, it's just been so nice having that like carved out break and having that break be like <laughs> set in stone like I know from 9 to 1 Monday through Friday I have that time to do whatever I need to do um today today we we're going thrifting y'all I'm going thrifting today and I'm very excited because I'm going to a Goodwill that I've never been to which um is like what <laughs> because I've been to most of the Goodwills in my area and even like <laughs> on like the outskirts of San Diego. I've been to so many, I've been to almost all of the Goodwill locations. This one in particular, I didn't even know existed. I was at a different Goodwill and I overheard somebody, on, one of the workers on the phone and I was like, there's a Goodwill over there. I looked it up. It was a whole thing. So I'm excited to go there today um, to see what they have. I woke up to my highest sale ever. Um, I sold a St. John dress that I had that I paid $8.99 for. It sold for $310 and I get 60% of that. So I think it was one, I'll put it up on the screen, $165, $156. Um, so that's very, very, very exciting and just has me even more stoked to go thrifting today. Okay, before we get going with our day, um, I did want to give a shout out to the lovely people over at Dossier. They reached out to me and asked if they could just send me a perfume and if I could talk about it on my channel, they're not paying me or anything. They did send me the perfume like for free. Um, and this was before I took like my YouTube mental health break and they have been very um, <laughs> flexible with me including this in a video um, cause it's been months. Uh, but Dossier is a perfume, perfume company and their whole shtick is like, designer quality scents but not at the price um this one in particular is the floriental brown sugar i absolutely love this it smells so good i haven't put it on yet because i don't have like i haven't gotten dressed i do my perfume like after i get dressed oh it smells so good the notes in here top notes are bergamot raspberry and pear the middle are jasmine orange blossom and brown sugar and then the base notes are patchouli amber and vanilla um i feel like mostly I smell the jasmine and then those base notes the patchouli amber and vanilla it smells so good y'all know I am a sucker for vanilla and any like deep scent cedarwood sandalwood amber patchouli like that that's my jam one thing I really enjoy um about their perfume is the lasting power it'll be like 4 p.m and I can still smell it on myself it's absolutely fantastic this one in particular is inspired by the YSL perfume 
perfume Mon Perry Eau de Parfum. You get this handy dandy little note card that gives you the notes, what it's inspired by, the concentration. And then a little thank you at the bottom, which is really nice. The packaging is very like minimalistic. It literally comes in this box and it just sits, sits right in there. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I think this would be such a great um, gift idea. You can really go on there and like if you only like certain scents or you know the person that you're buying for only likes certain scents, you can kind of like filter through everything and... I'm just a fan. I just think that it's it's fantastic and I've been actually using it like like I said I got this months ago and I've been using it for months and it's it's great. So shout out again to them uh, not only for sending me a fantastic perfume but also for just being very flexible with my with, with my upload. So let's get this day started. I'm gonna get dressed. We're gonna make breakfast for, for the kid and pack her lunch for the day and all that jazz. And um, at some point later, I will actually check in with you. We are home. It's 1.15. <sighs> um, what did I end up doing? I went to two thrift stores. I went to the one I talked about that I've never been to before. Meh, it was okay. It was it was a full Goodwill. It wasn't like a boutique. Um, when you search Goodwill, like on 
your maps or whatever um, it doesn't always tell you if it's a boutique goodwill which basically means they have like barely any clothes mostly books this was an actual goodwill but it was really small I did find a shirt um, but I went through the whole store except for the bottoms I didn't do jeans or pants but I went through everything else in like an hour I'm kind of a crazy person when I am thrifting I, I'm usually on a time crunch so I have to yeah I, can you flush the toilet please I have to like blow through the racks, you know, quickly. I did find a shirt and then I decided to hit another Goodwill because I still had like an hour and a half before I had to leave to get Daisy. So I went there and I found a dress and a shirt. So I will show you guys those um, shortly. So yeah, just a lot of uh, hunting and searching for um, things to sell this morning. Um, I went to both of those thrift stores and then went straight to get Daisy. Uh, and now we are home she's having a little bit of tv time and then um we're gonna do something maybe some i have some halloween like art project things um she got a new coloring books so maybe we'll do that i do need to throw in a load of laundry thankfully i got all the dishes done this morning it was chaos I, normally dishes for us like we don't let dishes like pile up and stuff it's it's pretty um seamless in terms of like loading the dishwasher running the dishwasher unloading it load it again like it's pretty <laughs> we're a pretty well oiled machine when it comes to dishes but for some reason i had like half a sink full of dirty dishes a full dishwasher of clean dishes that needed to be put away it was just a lot but i got all that done this morning um and then Later today, probably around like 3.30, Cernan's going to take Daisy out and they're going to be gone um, until dinner. We're going to go out to dinner tonight. We're going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. There's a football game on and I, I like going to Buffalo Wild Wings any day of the week, but um, it's just especially fun when there's football on. So we're going to do that, but I'm trying to figure out when when Daisy and Cernan are gone, what I want to do, what I want to get done. Um, I'm sorry, I'm petting. <laughs> if you see if I'm moving like this, I'm just, I'm, I'm petting petting the ollie boy um i'm trying to think about what i want to do i have some areas in the kitchen that i want to get clean my pantry is a mess um and then daisy's like snack cabinet and where we keep um like our sweet stuff and candy that we use for like movie nights and stuff like that is just I just shove things every the pantry her cabinet and that shelf i just shove stuff and then i can't find anything everything's a mess so i might clean that out but uh, right now let me go ahead and show you what i picked up at the thrift so the first place that i went to the goodwill i hadn't been to before um this was the only thing i found it's a reformation t-shirt this should list for like i think around 70 like 60 to 70 it's cute um it's like kind of sort of sheer it's in really great shape there's a couple threads hanging off of the bottom that i'm gonna have to to trim up but um i paid five bucks for this and that will be a good return on investment all right, I paid $6 for this. It is a long sleeve vintage Diane von Furstenberg um, like button up blouse. You can see it's a, well maybe you can see, it's a size large. This should go for around 60. And then lastly, I got this, it's almost like a bodycon dress. It's very stretchy. I can tell like once on, it's gonna fit very tightly, snugly. Um, this is T by Alexander Wang. Uh, there is a small, you can see right there, spot on it, but I am going to get that out. Um, this was $8. I did pay up a little bit for this. Th for this, comps are all over the place. For that brand, there's a lot of dresses that are um, 80. There's a lot of dresses that are like 150, 125. I don't know, but for eight bucks, I felt like I, I needed to get it. Okay, I am off to start some laundry, uh, and I will pop back on here when I when I see fit. All right, friends, <laughs> the same location. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog, like, in the future. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, Cernan and Daisy just left, and it's 3.04. Um, I know I <laughs> listed off all of those cleaning kitchen cleaning organizing uh tasks that i wanted to do but i'm actually going to film a video i'm going to film a favorites video i've been wanting to film a favorites video pretty much since i came back to youtube and i busted everything out like i'm ready to go so that's what i'm going to film i just feel like 
talking about my favorite things. It's one of my favorite things to do is to tell you guys about things that I'm loving. And so I'm going to film that right now. And then um, the laundry should be dry. I slacked. I'm putting it in the dryer, but the laundry should be done. And then I can fold and put all that away. And then maybe if I have time, I'll do one of those kitchen tasks. I, uh, I don't think I do enough to vlog like to just straight up vlog like uh, what I eat in a day is different because I never felt the pressure to like you don't feel the pressure like when you're out to film stuff or you 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 never feel like oh this is gonna be so boring because it's a what I eat in a day like you're just filming your food like that that that's the task at hand if you're filming your food you're doing what you're supposed to be doing now if someone finds it boring then that's that's their opinion but um, there's just, I feel like less pressure. I don't particularly feel pressure today, but it's like, what am I really filming? Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be doing vlogs in the future. I think it would be better for me to just stick with what I did before, which was not necessarily weekly, but every now and then film a what I eat in a day, um, video. And you know, y'all know the intros to those videos for me are like usually eight to 10 minutes long because I'm telling you about my life. I'm updating you about things. And I feel like that's, a better um a better path for me than like just doing vlogs I just I just I don't think this this is my shtick I'm still gonna upload this one because um I'm still determined I'm still I'm still gonna I'm still gonna produce like a decent video but I just think in the future if I want to do something vlog style it needs to be a what I eat in a day so I'm gonna film that favorites video and um at some point, check back in with you guys. I think they're gonna pick me up to go to dinner at 5.30, um, which will be nice, because that means we'll kind of be eating somewhat on the earlier side. We recently pushed Daisy's bedtime from, she was going to bed at like 6.45, 7, and since she started school, trying to get her to go to bed at that time, we were seeing some uh, like defiance and a little bit of like, I don't wanna say behavioral problems, but it was clear to us that maybe we needed to push bedtime. So we pushed it to eight o'clock and like all is right with the world. So it'll be nice to eat early, get home early, um, and and uh, end our day that way. So I'm gonna film, I will check with you later. Hello friends, it is 8.01. <laughs> we are home from dinner. Um, it's, <laughs> I'm enjoying a glass of rose. A little mini glass. These are like little bodega glasses. I love them. Um, Cernan and Daisy picked me up at 5.30. Wow, I am shiny. They picked me up at 5.30 and there was a 25 minute wait. So we just killed some time. Not a big deal, um, but it was really busy. Again, there was a game tonight, so it was pretty packed. But it was so good. I love Buffalo Wild Wings. We get takeout from there a lot, but we rarely lately have gone in because it hasn't been football season. I feel like I talked about this earlier. If I talked about this earlier, just <laughs> forward through this part. Um, and it was nice to just go out and have the game be on and um, just have a nice family dinner. So it was delicious. The Chipotle Barbecue dry rub is my favorite in case you were in case you were wondering um, And yeah, I'm gonna end today's Vlog if you can call it that. <laughs> I mean, it's a vlog. I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I Don't know how many more of these you guys are gonna get out of me. Probably not not very many um, If you guys happen to like this video <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed drop me a comment down below. I did film my favorites video which is very exciting. Um, so that will be, excuse me, that will be out sometime, probably next week. I meant for it to go up this week, but I'll probably save it for next week. And then at the end of the month, I'm gonna film a what sold in September. It's going to be like a, um, a video all about what sold on the real reel for me in September. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, which makes sense, right? Like wherever your passion lies, that's what, if you're a content creator, that's what you're gonna be the most excited making content about. For me, when it was keto, I was excited about all the food content, all the keto content. And right right now, my heart is really in 
thrifting and reselling and um, so I'm just really pumped to film that one and share with you guys so that's that I will see you guys most likely on Monday with a grocery haul um, and until then I hope everybody has a good weekend. I, I really want to try to get this up on Friday, but it might be going up on Saturday. We, we shall see, okay? We shall see. Uh, I will see you guys when I see you.